All right, beginner's guide. Guide for beginners. First good tip for the dungeon. Go kill the shank. The shank is a sniper and he's annoying as hell. Ignore the hive because they just respawn a million times anyway. Get the fallen out of the way. Now you can work on whatever you want. Also, if you own Agri Scepter, it is basically got here in this little section because everything gets frozen in place and you can quite literally spawn kill everything all day. There you can get out of the cave, Obi. Come back. Now they spawn and now they die. You just rinse, repeat, it's, it's quite literally free. It, it does not get any more free. Alright, we're just gonna dunk. I thought we didn't have enough. Maybe we do. I don't know. That should do it. Free encounter, there you go. This part has a, a little nice skip too if you really feel like it and you don't want to go around to the left, you just uh, kill the shrieker. Where the hell is the angle here? You can avoid it if you want, but I prefer killing it just to uh, kind of guarantee the thing. So you just do that and then you go uh, with any class you can do this. Use your super, just dash across, you can kill this idiot if you want. And then you just go here. Literally avoid everything else. What's better improving grounds? Galley or 1k? Arbalist. Arbalist destroys that strike. Uh, Vogue? We don't know if Vogue's gonna be Pinnacle for Witch Queen. They might swap it out for the new raid. Kinda like they did, uh, Vogue and, uh, Thiefstone. Also, yeah, small tip here, when you open this door, instead of just jumping over like a weirdo, uh, you can just jump on the table and walk across free. Don't worry about dying. All right, I guess you're waiting for me. Bounce off the wall for extra points. Yeah, this dungeon is fun, for sure. I would recommend trying it out. Alright, so this part isn't anything crazy, but you can speed it up if you feel like it. If you're a Titan, just use uh, Lions slash Missile. If you're a Warlock, use Dawnblade. Uh, and if you're a Hunter, use Stompy. So you just go on this thing right here, and then... Alright, do an overjump like I did. And you can use Heat Rising here if you want, but I don't. Now just go... Whoop! You pull the switch up there. Didn't pull the switch. All right, there you go. Obi's dead because uh, he's showing what not to do. Oh yeah, you can shoot the shrieker through the wall. Forgot to mention that. All right, now that it's dead, you can just go right back. And then you pull this switch. And you go back one more time and you're done. Hmm. 
This is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think anybody ever needs a, a quote-unquote guide for this. Just kill wizard, kill hive, get inside door, pull switch, rinse, repeat. Are you still dead, OB? What the fuck? Get up, you lazy jabroni. <laughs> Put your purses down. Make sure you get run over by this thing. Chest? I mean... Sure. I guess it doesn't matter if I pick it up normal or master. In before class item. Did I mention I hate this game? How are you dead again? Alright, so there's a lot of things people don't know about this fight, I feel like. I'm just going to go over the general stuff. So obviously, well, bubble slash thunder, <coughs> sorry, bubble slash thunder crash, and then uh, probably a stasis hunter, honestly, since you're going to be using sleeper for the most part. Sleeper and particle with, I don't know, I guess, Cartesian. So what you're going to want to do is first of all I have reserves on linear reserves then have lunas on slash um linear re reloader wherever the hell that, that is there you go it really does help especially with a gun like super that takes eight years to reload so how the boss fight works is you have to start by going to this garage before you go to this one for whatever reason so you start to fight, you go over there, you go to the back, you kill the Vandal for the Scorch Cannon, or you just bring this one from the other encounter like I did. Doesn't matter. And then what most people do is they, is they just bum rush this room and just kill stuff and get engrams. What you're supposed to do, at least to optimize, is you dedicate one person to pop your super inside, and then, so it would be me, I'll pop well, then kill everything, pick up 10 engrams, get your will back instantly, and then you're back to just repeating the process instead of three people go in and they each get like three engrams for whatever reason. And then you just repeat the process for the second room, same thing. That dedicated person goes in, pops their super, whether it's well, bubble, whatever. Um, you kill everything, get 10 engrams, get your super back again. Then you can go start DPS, which is 25 total. And then for DPS, most people just stay here. But in actuality, you can actually go up there on the top right, like right there and pop bubble and all that other stuff and be at a good angle where the boss won't be your flinch to Uganda and uh, also he won't stop you off, off the map so I'll show you where to go right here during DPS like right about here oh 
All right, Daddle told me to eat ass while making a dungeon guide. That's noted. I will definitely keep that in mind. All right, you go in here. I'm gonna pop my super here. Then you immediately bully the the knights. Everything's dead, so the super user would pick up all the engrams, and except my teammates just took everything. Okay, yep. My teammates definitely have done this dungeon before they know what to do. Smile. Alright, so instead of going to the crystal, you can actually just go into the next room and not waste time if you want to. This is where I would pop my super again if my teammates were listening. <laughs> I kill everything, so as you see, I got my super back from 10 engrams. And now you go to DPS. So instead of staying over here and just getting flinched non-stop. One second, I gotta get four more. Alright, so you go over here. And you just bully him from here. He can't really hit you over here unless he moves at a certain angle. And even if he does, obviously you have well. And then uh, normally you have a bubble. So you have lots of protection. And then the Lunas makes you reload super fast. Also the bubble protect protects you from the, um, the Scorch Cannon dude. So that's, that was basically just two sleepers and OB throwing the entire time. And he pretty much got nuked instantly. I didn't get a class item. It's a miracle. <sighs> Daddle next to the seven month primer. Are you going to be on a reset tomorrow, by the way? I'm thinking uh, that that exorcism is happening tomorrow. Unless they're doing a random hotfix for some reason that I just seemed random. Should I even bother explaining the Sparrow Encounter? You think people don't know about the buttons? It's just a guess. Like, it's not guaranteed tomorrow. It, they're having a hotfix, so I assume it might be tomorrow. Because we're like, what, five weeks away or something like that? They, they gotta kill her eventually, right? Not reset but early enough. Got it, got it, got it. I'll be on if you want to do some GMs if the thing is not out in the event. Is Eager Edge getting nerfed? Nope. I like. I guarantee they made that sword with the intent of people are gonna zoom out of their minds. There's no way they're gonna nerf it. Okay. Uh, spare encounter. There's lots of buttons to get to extend your time. In case people don't know, I'm gonna try to show you most of them. Here we go. This is the button. It's from Scourge. Pull that, go to the next one, you bought some time for your flag thing. If you go to the right side, you avoid the Vandal Snipers, by the way. Good to know if you're going solo flawless. There's another button you can take, then you just drive through here, don't stop, it'll cap. Next one you can get is right here. Then I like to drive across and get this button here. Somebody already got that, then you go through B. Uh, then you go down center, or at least I do. There's another button down the middle here, and at this point you pretty much, you're pretty much good to go. As long as you don't hit like a wall, you have enough time to get the, the last two. There's one right here, like down the middle, so it's kind of impossible to miss. Also, always make sure you take the the left lift, not the right lift. Otherwise, you you you're probably dead. I think honestly. There's a button up here that extends your timer in case you're going a little slow. There it is, and then you just jump down and you're done. He needs a class item to get Fate Breaker. Is it a complex challenge tomorrow? It's both good and stupid that you can only get the class item from complexes. And you can't get it on Master, because it's only gloves and boots, I think. 
but the other 99% of the time you don't want a glass item, so it's also a good thing. Probably game for some GMs. Alright, it's Exodus Crash, so we just bully him out of existence like last time. Yeah, yeah, right, right. But if it's Complex Challenge on normal, you, you have two chances at the class item. I actually needed a class item to get Fatebreaker 2 for the longest, way, way back. My hunter just could not get a class item to save her life. I don't think there's anything really, like, guide-ish about this place. It's pretty self-explanatory. Get cannon, shoot cannon, put soccer ball into the goal. By the way, we gotta schedule that Monopoly Day soon. We gotta get that out of the way before Witch Queen. Before all hell breaks loose. We could try tomorrow, like after Destiny resets stuff. I don't know. We'll see. He's out of town. All right. It doesn't matter to me who it is, as long as you just get it done. No matter who it's gonna be, somebody's gonna get mad. Somebody's gonna go bankrupt. A trade will go down, and then people will get very upset. Alright, have fun. Thanks for stopping by. Quick, everybody ask him what his favorite exotic from D1 is that he wants to bring back to D2. Quick, go, quick, go, go, go. I'm kidding, don't do that. Alright, where's the dude at? Not left. There he is. I don't think they're doing it on Thursday, Merc. I think the new... The new community manager made a tweet about, like, expectations for the TWAB. And I don't think talking about the raid was part of the things that she said. Look at all these fucking eager edge zoomers, dude. Back in my day, we did encounters the normal way. I mean, I'm sure they'll talk about it soon, but, like, the general guess... At least everybody in, in my raid team, is, the general guess is March 5th, I think? The name? Uh... I think it's, what is it, like, Liana, I want to say, Rupert? I'm sure if you go to DMG's Twitter, he uh, retweeted it, I think. I'm not on a first-name basis with the new CM. That it's hard to keep up. Right, I'm just going to Dawn Blade over there. Can I Dawn Blade over there? Yeah, dude, everybody just zooms around with the fucking sword in this encounter. I 
I, dude, imagine if I did Eager's Edge like zooms, people would lose their minds. They already call me an XP glitcher for using disgrace bounties. Look, guys, I'm I'm glitching the experience. It's going too fast. It's out of control. Okay, so I was right. Nice. Yeah, I'm the coil glitcher of bounties. Y you got me. He went back to, I'm pretty sure, editing. He's not here. But no, she's not. At least I don't think she is, unless my Twitch dash dashboard is out of date. Uh, boom. Wait, that's only one? Did we miss one? Did, did we miss a servitor? Am I dumb? Yeah, I do. How? When? They've always been lined up. I don't. It's not even possible to miss, right? How? I am confusion. Obi's fault, you're right, you're right. I didn't see a servitor fall off the cliff. I fired the last two, and then... I assume one of you got the first one. Do I like the eager edge perk? Uh... I mean, yeah. It, it's fun to use, to like, just zoom forward. Character you guys on anyway? Titan what? Good to know that one actually hit. Yeah, we did the servitor. That was the second time.
Yeah, Chad, if you're prepping for Witch Queen, don't forget to check out the the, the prep video on the tube. Too bad it's regular armor. Might have been terrible too, but if it's not artifice, I don't want it. Alright, I'm gonna need you to play like a civilized gamer this time and not uh, a bonk ape. getting farmed but I will bubble or what uh it, what is he warlock yeah you you do shade binder and then uh, you do bubble or actually no you do well I'll do shade binder just so I can show it on video You want me on Div or no? Yeah. Alright, muting, hold on. Uh, okay, da, 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 da. All right, my guide for the boss room is generally always have at least one warlock and then some sort of stasis user, whether it's a behemoth or a um, revenant hunter. You want to have a div person in this room. The div person's always either the titan or the hunter. It's never the warlock because warlocks are the only class that can take care of um, focus lens and get additional damage off of that when they pop their well. The other characters don't get that anymore. So that's why the warlock can never be div. So what we're rocking is one well, one div. And then I'll be showing how you can do a hot swap between well and a uh, shade binder, so you can do both stasis and still have your well because the encounter allows you to recharge your super over and over. So I'm gonna start with well for the beginning here, and then I'm gonna switch to stasis mid round and show you how to get uh, to a quick DPS phase, and then the little hot swap while doing it. So first we're gonna start by rallying full ammo, 16 shots. You want to still have your Lunas on, but if you want, you can put Stag on to get, like, Rifts with uh, additional damage resist and then Hot Swap to a uh, Luna later, but I wouldn't worry about that. After you rally, put on Arc Resist because 90% of this room hits Arc. Just Basically, just the boss hits Solar, pretty much. And then what we're going to do to start this is, once we start, we're going to go over to actually where the boss spawns, and then immediately one of us pops well. Then the Div user will go after the Shank or the Marauder. We're going to easily spawn kill him really quick, and then we're going to try to go collect our orbs for DPS phase. Normally, if this is Master, we would split up and kill the Servitors as well, but there's no Servitors on Normal, so you don't gotta worry about that. Alright, ready? Yep. Let's go. I'll also be showing how you can uh, juggle the cannon, so you can have multiple um, engram drops with one cannon within, like, I don't know, 10 seconds. Because uh, the way the cannon works is it can charge one of these three slots and then just go for the next slot and go back and forth as like a little seesaw. So what I'm going to do here is dunk my moats real quick. And then I'm going to go search for the Scorch Cannon dude. Wherever the hell he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. So the spot I like personally is over here on the, the I guess, the right from the, if you're looking from the back or left if you're in the front of the room. You just clear out these dregs real quick. And then what I'm going to do is the other two people are going to be middle and right. And I'm going to charge this hole. I'm going to head over here to the left. Once it's charged for two dings, boom. And then you just start charging this one. So as you see, 10 dropped. 
and now it's about to be 20. So what I can do here is I will go stasis real quick. And now I'm going to have a stasis turret. But I can just throw this turret like so. And then hot swap back the well. And then by picking up these engrams, I get my well back. So ideally, I mean, you do want to have a revenant or a behemoth because obviously theirs, they can throw whenever they want. But this also works, the little hot swap. And then you wait for the little thing on the bottom left to show you where DPS starts, because otherwise he's immune sometimes. Div applies, this applies, then you just sleeper, and I mean, look at his health, dude. This man is having a bad day. And he's dead. And that is how uh, you can optimize your boss room. Get a nice, easy, quick kill. Farm two weapons right there, in before god roll. Thousand yards there. You know it could be a lot worse. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. And there you have it. 